Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Geek Cheese. This Geek is Cheese. Greg. <laughs> and Kelly. And uh, we're going to play Thimbleweed Park. Um, we heard about this game through the Steam, Steam Amazing sale. Summer Sale. And <coughs> uh, we decided to buy it because I guess the folks that made this also made uh, Maniac Mansion. And she's never played that. No. But Maniac Mansion is one of my all-time favorite Nintendo games ever. Oh, is it a mystery? It's like a mystery. You go through a, a mansion. Um, I yeah, probably like it. Obviously, you go through a mansion. But yeah, so it's like a point, -click, like a point and click game. Yeah. <clears throat> you get to play as Sid Vicious. Oh. It's one of the characters, Sid Vicious. I'd probably like it. It's pretty freaking amazing. I know that there's some weird guy in the basement. There's a mad doctor. Oh, it's like the best game Nintendo? ever. Nintendo. Nintendo, the original Nintendo. I wonder if it was included on the Nintendo Classic that they released. I don't think so. I don't know. They're coming I out with the Super Nintendo Classic. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, so uh, we're going to just play through and... I think uh, I would like uh, Super Nintendo better. Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo Classic coming out with great games. Because I think that's what my friend used to play. Probably. All right, so let's get into this. All right. <laughs> uh, <coughs> at some mode. point we will also uh, be healthy yeah um, I don't know when that's going to be I can barely talk so, so. alright so casual mode if you're new to adventure games you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting um, or hard mode if you're an experienced adventure gamer you want all the puzzles because there's nothing more what do we want to do once you choose a mode you can't change it without starting a new game okay Hmm. Well, you can still save it, right? Yeah. It says you can play in casual mode and then again in hard mode to see additional puzzles. Do we just do casual mode for now? Or hard mode? Hard mode will last longer, it sounds. Hmm. I wonder if how hard the game is. Well, let's do casual. Uh, let's do casual. Let's do casual mode. Let's see what happens. <gasps> the music sounds good. Music sounds amazing. <coughs> um, interact with players and objects. Our dog is like... <laughs> flipping out. He's flipping out. All right. Talk so. above the cursor. Text. Oh, text above the cursor. <laughs> I can't see. Text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. So look at key card. Interact with the player. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. It's a tutorial. <laughs> There's nothing's happening. There's an arrow over here. Uh. Give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. Open, pick up, push. Mm. Items your characters picked up are here. Pick up. Simple commands start with the verb and end with an object or character. Pick up. Key card. Complete, uh, complex commands start <coughs> with the verb, then an object, and end with another object or character. Use key card indoor. I'm kind of glad we picked casual. <coughs> to review <laughs> or see advanced interactions tips the options is the little settings do hickey and that's the end of the tutorial what the hell was that hey 1987. 1987 it's a good year a better year is 1988 it's probably yeah, yeah. true just saying mm -hmm. it reminds me of Twin Peaks Already? Yeah. Especially this part. <laughs> yeah, this part. David Lynch would just have a whole episode of that. Yeah. And then also of the lock clan. <laughs> and then it would go back and forth, and then Trent Reznor would sing over it. <laughs> Thimbleweed Park, City Limit. Population 81? I hope that's... probably a good place to live. I hope that's 1,000. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe... <laughs> Right Maybe not. Population 80. <laughs> it went down. <laughs> that was pretty. <laughs> that was fantastic. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. I like the music. The music reminds me of the Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble. Train. It's very moody. Uh oh, there's a drunk. He's got a five o'clock shadow. And a bottle of Tabasco sauce. That's what it looks like. Is that what we call it? Is that what it's called? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> to 
too many talk. His voice. That's not. That's not what I thought it would be. <laughs> he wants some wiener schnitzel. He said. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> well, he has a pad. Oh, open <laughs> gate. Okay. What are those things we have? Click on talk, talk to, to Willie. Okay, so now we have. This is where the real game begins, folks. It's getting us to agree on what the. Wait. Are you a victim of the inferior American is this what we're saying support that? system? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wants wait, wait, healthcare wait passes. <coughs> I'm we have to, to choose. Meet, I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? <laughs> Are you a victim of the... I have to go. Okay, uh, we have to... Yes. Yeah, we have to first, first or second one. First or second one. <laughs> first or second one. Have you seen anyone? Yeah, having whiskey. Uh... Choose the first one. Yeah. Are you sure you haven't seen anyone? I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Yeah, wake up. <laughs> wake up, sir. Can't they just slap him? Wake up, sir. <laughs> he ain't gonna wake up. <clears throat> can you hit it? Can you, can you pop him in the head? Wake up, sir. With this bottle? No, we're not giving the... I have... Wake up, sir. He isn't gonna wake up. <coughs> Click on him. I have to go to... I have to go. Sleep with. Alright, what's this? Look at note. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For no protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the Trestle train bridge. So, these are the things. So, we're Boris. That's okay. Our character's Boris. <coughs> Alright, turn off the light above the Trestle trail sign so I know you've arrived. Alright, so that's what we have to do. And it says, meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. All right, so we have to go to the, we have to go, sorry, I'm moving a thing. So we have to go over here. Oh, okay, go on. So we have to turn off that light. We have to. Wait, why? Because that's part of the, here, <coughs> turn off the light. Oh. So. Click on, um, use light? Push. That's your button. Way to turn it off. I do not see you. Pick. Open. I do not see a way you know, to open it. Open it. Oh, oh, so we can pick up the rock. So oh, that's smash it? Yeah. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. It is put out the rock. light. Out the damn light. Pick up rock. <laughs> All right. Use rock. rock on light. Hey, oh. Oh, Boris is badass. <laughs> I have completed step three of the road. Now? Now? Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Is it over here? Boris. I think Boris is a hard person to forget if you meet him. <coughs> Whoa. What the, the hell was that? Did we just die? Is Boris not the investigator? Is Boris is the victim? Maybe. I can't see him being like... The protagonist? Yeah. Boris is dead. I mean... Boris be dead. If anyone was going to die, it was going to be Boris. And now we're Mulder and Scully. Yeah. And Boris is dead. And there's Boris. Only Scully's smoking a lot more than I remember. Her. <laughs> Tell me again why you're here. I was a <coughs> for the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case a 
alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case so we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. Is how it Ray and Reyes? I'm yep. sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Alright, so we need to look at the body. It appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Just look at notebook. Um. There's a bottle over it's here. An empty whiskey bottle. I have to pick up. Oh gosh. Come on. Up. All right. Here's a delay. Keep it's going. A, Keep going. Um. Come here, buddy. So it <laughs> wants us to look at the notebook. So let's look at the notebook. Male, approximately 40 years old. Been in the water for 24 hours. Nothing has popped except the hotel. All right. So this is all stuff that we already know. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> scooch, scooch in. All right, so <coughs> Cooper's making a bed on a computer chair. <laughs> Cooper, stop it. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Suit looks tailored, okay. European in design. Okay. All right, so All right, what do we have to do? We have to use the camera. There's no film in the camera. No film the camera? No, oh, jeez. Here. I think we'd better yeah, take a take photo a of that body before Come it buddy. Yeah. any further. Good plan, Agent Ray. Ooh, ow. Ow. You wouldn't happen to have any film on you. Sure do. I've had enough chatting. All right. So what did happen now? Ah, I okay. need to see <coughs> focus and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. <coughs> so we can switch I characters. Take a photo of that body okay. before it pixelates any further. So we have to give Polaroid film to Ray. I don't have enough to carry already. Oh, stop your bitch. <laughs> um. Use Polaroid in the camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Use the camera. Take a picture. On the corpse. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. Well, now. All right. So is that it? I think we should investigate this whole area. Yeah. <coughs> Wait. There. We, we should, should go, go find the sheriff. sheriff. Oh. Appears. Did you read that? Yeah. <coughs> Alright, that's nothing. Click on, um... Can we... We use the camera to take. There's no film in the camera. No, we don't have any film. Click on the area where that thing popped out of. Yeah, block the tree stump. Like a tree Freshly stump. cut. That's disgusting. Hi, Better buddy. Take a deep breath. Here, buddy. Look at. that there's another trail over there. I don't think there's anything else that we can look at. 
No. Um, I guess go back. So, I don't know if you guys can see my dog <laughs> is laying on my... I think we should pick up this bottle. Oh, I didn't see it. <clears throat> that could be a clue. We should go find the shares. Okay, okay. Did you... She picked it up? Yeah. <clears throat> the guy's up there. That was his whiskey bottle. Yeah. Uh, Look at the uh, area, maybe? Look at the area where he was sitting, maybe? Wait, let's use the cell phone. The cell phone has no reception. Okay. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my bad. Uh, it's a hotel key card from the dead man. He wants to get... Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's you, insisting on sitting on you. You probably can't see this. <coughs> Maybe you can. Maybe all you can see is the top of our dog's head. We're not right. entirely sure. All right, so we have to go to... We have to go. We have to leave. Is that what you said? <laughs> Are we just leaving? <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, we have to... Right there. Keep the highlight Open. Open. We already did that. Double click to move quickly to the cursor's location. <clears throat> Holy cow, that's way too many what things. What is this? Alright. What is that about? I don't know. Where's our, uh, our partner? partner. <coughs> oh. Standing there. Wait, that's wiggling. It's the same, it says the same stuff. Why is it wiggling? I don't know. <clears throat> I know we had to go get him. There's a can. Yeah, there's a can. What's that? An Atari cartridge. <clears throat> or look at let's uh, look at the can. It's, it's an empty can, can of Crockford tuna heads. But the good parts. parts. What? Pick it pick up. up. Alright, let's pick up this thing over here too. Let's see a Atari cartridge. It's the ET game for the 2600. <laughs> the ET game, that's amazing. Um, Those orbs aren't anything, right? The bugs? They are fireflies. <clears throat> There's something. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Yeah, we're probably gonna pick up everything, so if you guys don't like that. Signals are very strong tonight. Pigeon Brothers? Plumbing? What do we ask these weird people dressed like pigeons? What? Why are you. What signal? I have so that, many questions. Why are you dressed like that? We need to know. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? <coughs> we're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing? I'm Beth. That's, That's my sister, sister Emily. Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? I was just gonna say, why are you brothers if you're sisters? What, what signals? signals? The signals. The signals, the signals, the signals are, are very strong tonight. Why brothers if you're sisters? Yes, you already said that, that but what signals? <laughs> the the screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted rose. Me in a giant pigeon, pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. up. But the signals are strong tonight. Oh my god. Very strong. Should I save my game? <laughs> um. I almost ran over a federal agent. I guess. You almost ran over a federal agent. <coughs> that is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, signals are very strong tonight. Oh my gosh. Oh, um. Yeah. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body. But, but the signals are strong. Signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Very strong. Um, I want, yeah. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. We need tissue to have the van repainted. Serious wrong with it, please, Dad. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. What? 
Now, you know, call me crazy, but I don't know if I trust these two ladies dressed like their, pigeons. Can we look in their uh, truck or something? I can't get past nice, them. Uh, maybe... I'm not chatting, chatting with you. I need, I need to, to find the sheriff, sheriff and solve a murder. Nice, nice talking, talking to you, too. too. Here, look and see if you look at that. Oh my god. Click, click, click. click. Wait, wait, can you talk to both pit? Two different... No, no time, time to talk. talk. We, we need, need to figure out the signal. signal. Oh, 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 I've got, got a murder to, to solve anyway. Okay, let's... Beep. Beep. It's a bombing van, driven by big pigeons. No need. The perps are outside. Alright, I don't think we're gonna... sure? Oh, maybe there's like more bodies in there. <clears throat> What's that? Plastic ring. Oh, that's nothing. How do you know? Wow. How uh? How long is this road? Walk oh, to let's town. Walk to town. I guess go back. Well, let's just click on her and go back. To <clears throat> Trestle Trail. I don't see anything up ahead. I don't see anything up ahead. I guess we have I think to the walk. Town must be in the Direction. Now, if you're watching this and you're probably like, there's no need for her to run all the way back when you can just do this simple click What's thing. What's that? The cemetery. Oh, wait. Should Maybe we go they the should cemetery? go in there. We, we should, should go, go find the sheriff. <coughs> the sheriff. Wait, the sheriff. Is that going to be in there? Uh, I guess you have to go to town. Isn't there a way to do both of them or something? Um. What's that? The third one. Ah. Uh, the third option. Third option is the settings. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter because this is happening now. What are you doing, Cooper? Oh, so wait, somebody got video of us? Well, that's creepy. Way Way up, I, I know. Stop. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to go in here real quick. Okay. Sorry. Just had to go check something real quick. Main Street. Abandoned building. Look at. Willie's watch and violin. Someone repair. hears a dog barking. Plymouth County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. I don't know if anybody rich and famous is. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. All right. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Hmm. It says, need help playing simply with cards? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. Hmm. Maybe we should call it. Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> call it. Why not? Better leave it be. <laughs> Bust? Oh, wait, there's a the sheriff. Yeah. Simply park here. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Is that what you are? Feds? Hard to miss the government issues suits. Yeah. Wait. Um. Wait a minute. That's gonna piss her off if he introduces himself first. Because she was assigned to the case, remember? Oh. Yeah. Professor, we are federal agents. Whoa! Oh, your horse Reno! No need to get snippy! Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. 
Is this like <sighs> Sheriff Flanders? <laughs> Time to get long and it's only gonna get longer. This cut scene is the corner and to get you on your way. That's fine. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope this is talking about on TV. Wrestling? The corner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. Man, this place. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slicker Reno do it. Oh my god. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. This town's that weird. Makes no sense. Are, Are we authorized to shoot people at Reno's? <laughs> I like this her. This lady's badass. I like her. Um, alright, so we don't have... Uh... Okay, so... Let's, let's let the water... She's a drink of water. Because she does. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> oh right. my god. Do you think uh do you think Reyes needs a drink too? Should we get Reyes? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. Um I guess well, there's the corner. Is there anything else here that we can look at? Um what, wait, what did that say? The city the description says <coughs> electronics, but the brain of our city. Weird. weird. Anything else that we can hmm. look at? The city seal. City seal, city seal. Reyes, yeah. we can go outside. Can you go to the office? Yeah, it's a corner over there. Let's look at the... What? A speck of dust? Okay. <laughs> look at it, maybe? It's my speck of dust. <laughs> Alright, go to the uh, door. Let's go in the corner. It's the same Howdy guy. Ho, I'm the Timberweed Park Coroner. Wait a minute. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Billotronic <clears throat> Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced. Is that a body? For the better yeah. Oh, do enlighten us. I love your sarcastic humor, who Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. Our dog's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Uh, let's just go right down the line, huh? Yeah. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This <coughs> is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. We're going to be here a lot. <laughs> Tell us I about think. the Fingertron 3000. I think so. Right a Reno, the Fingertron 3000. Sorry, Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Door, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face of Reno? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk of who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. <clears throat> um, yeah. Aren't you the sheriff of Reno? Oh, I know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. This guy's but creepy. we're as different as pizza who's in a pot who. Plus, oh the sheriff has that annoying arena. He adds everything. You don't ever hear me doing that who. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> so, I don't trust the sheriff. No. I don't trust this guy. He's a little too uh, comfortable talking about the technology and plugging the company yeah he's uh he kind of reminds me of the mad scientist from the from maniac mansion mm. uh yes yeah, so let's ask did him you that. use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire oh sure did four computers 
positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt of who about it. Uh, could the computers have been wrong? Could have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Oh, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer so and Chuck? pillow genius. That's what I'm wondering. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just it's curious. Okay. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. CompuServe chat room. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should about hours of our investigation. <sighs> and go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. Oh, the Arrestron. I have some paperwork to do, Lou. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines aren't fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. All right, so right off the bat, I hate this town. Let's <laughs> investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. So right off the bat, I'm noticing that there's like um, sewer grates and stuff, mm -hmm. which makes me wonder like. I don't know. I guess not. Look at the Let's bookshelf. Look at the bookshelf? Yeah. <coughs> Lots of medical books there. Alright, this is... Alright, so this is our to-do list. Find the murder weapon, get the finisher. Finger trying to report. So I guess we don't have this stuff. Hmm. Should we test the bottle, maybe? Is there a way to test the bottle? Key card I guess we don't need to test the bottle. Um, no, but do we? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what. I mean, we so, could put a photo in here, right? Yeah, I guess. We don't have. I guess what we don't have is two things to put in each of these. Right, we don't have two things that have blood on it. We don't have two things that have fingerprints. We don't have, right? We don't have two of anything oh, really. What the pictures? Only, what does that picture show? It only shows. This is the body. Well, let's just let's let's uh look at these at least. I'm not putting my face in there. Let's use it. Impressive. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, wait, said so you can talk to him too, so <coughs> try to talk to one. Impressive, but nothing happened. Trademark. Trademark. Patent pending. Oh my god. Here we go. Yeah. How do I take Um, where do I find the registry <laughs> number? <laughs> Wow, Fingertron 3000 is an asshole. Mm. And then um, I guess. So let's. I guess we have to talk to this one too. <coughs> Um, we already kind of know this. Yeah, maybe look at that. What's that thing next Dewey to it? Caramel Center. <sighs> Awarded to Dr. Wood Ishan by Sheriff Cook.
I don't, what's that? What was that about? I don't know. It's, it's a medical, medical skeleton. skeleton. Oh. Go to the file cabinet. It's empty. Empty? It's empty. Why is it empty? There's a fingerprint <coughs> kit here. No. Ooh, 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 pick up the fingerprint kit. Isn't that it? Didn't Where's you just. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. What can we use the fingerprint kit on? Um. The hotel key card. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, so we have to give. Okay. Use the fingerprint kit on the hotel. I don't want to waste the powder on that. Really? I need to dust the murder weapon. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. There's a fingerprint brush, a small okay. amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. So do we have to get out of this room now? I think. <coughs> Nothing up here. I can't open no. that. I don't want to pick that up. <laughs> Maybe go go out. Here. I can't pull that. I can't pull that. I can't pull that. Push? I can't push that. I thought right. it was like a secret. I thought it was a secret thing, yeah. I know, I wish what? it was, but it almost sat down. Okay, so I guess we I guess we have to go upstairs now. Yeah. And talk to the <coughs> sheriff. Hello again. Donuts. Reno's. Hopefully the coroner fills in on our state of the art of Reno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state of the art computer Reno's from Pillowtronics. Absolutely interesting. <coughs> mm, yeah. Uh, um, you're also the coroner. What about this? I'm curious All about right. the pillow factory fire. What, what else, else do you know, know about the, the pillow, pillow factory, factory fire 20 years ago? My dog wants to lay his head on my arm so bad it's so annoying in the back. After a lengthy investigation and corroborated to Reno by our computers, <coughs> it was determined the fire was caused by a security guard. Couldn't the fire have been started by faulty equipment? The faulty Reno equipment theory was debunked by our computers. Ironclad Reno evidence pointed to the security guard who was uh, also killed in the fire. The case was closed, and Lane squarely and barely put on the guard of Reno. Maybe the machines are, like, programmed to not... To kill people? <laughs> You're also the Or to give you wrong information? Yeah, wrong information. Oh, my, no. Ha, <laughs> ha. No, 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 Reno. Yeah, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as these Reno's in a pot of Reno. No. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ah He has everything. You'll never hear me doing that, Reno. Cooper, I'm so sorry, but you have to get up. All right. You uh, mean the should I okay. click on? You mean the coroner said something about the arrest restaurant? restaurant? Yeah, yeah. You, I mean the, the coroner said something about the uh, restaurant. My leg yeah, fell asleep. I was sitting on it. Oh my god. The last step in a fully computerized <laughs> Reno arrest. <laughs> The final link in oh, the wait, chain wait. of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, and sorry, <coughs> Reno, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The arrest from This guy's crazy. Yeah. They just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck says the computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. I don't trust Chuck. Hello. Who's this Chuck? Who is this yeah. Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. Mm. There was a big service out at the cemetery of Reno. Oh, an entire town showed up, which isn't surprising. How convenient. The hero of Bimbo Weed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run to Reno and check on a disturbance call out of the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Oh, no. 
Ooh, we're gonna not go to the circus. Mm, not a clown. Ah, oh, it's always a clown. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. All right, so <coughs> are you noticing something that I'm noticing? There's know. something really weird back here. It might be nothing, but doesn't it look like a poster's missing right here? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> Can you look know. at it? Let's look at these wanted <coughs> posters. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Pick it up. I don't want to pick that up. Let's push it. I can't push that. Pull it. I can't pull that. You use that it. That doesn't seem to work. I can't push that. I can't pull that. That doesn't seem to work. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Pickle Bill. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Band name called it. Um, look at. Use the radio. We interrupt our hostile takeover, non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. We just don't know where they are coming from. Is that the pigeon lady? And now back to our special hostile takeover song. That sounds like Samantha B. <laughs> Dance party. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, okay. Oh man. Uh, I think that was the pigeon lady. A bunch of files. Wait, no, click on the there's missing picture. Finger did you try it? There's a fingerprint book there. Oh. But did you try yeah, clicking yeah, on the missing? Yeah. Just a bunch of files. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Oh. All right, let's go back over here. Let's open these drawers. Just a bunch of files. Just a <coughs> bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. <coughs> I think we should push these back closed. I didn't think about that. You might realize that we went through their stuff. Is there anything up there? Where are the FBI? We can do whatever we want. Almost. Right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're allowed to look through their files. I guess not without a, I don't know. A warrant? Yeah. Or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm that I'm pretty works. sure we can do it. We obviously have no... It doesn't mean anything. We obviously don't know how the law works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We just do whatever we're we want. We're both dying. Um, okay, there's Police Tron. Yeah. It's a police radio. Looks, Looks like, like it's on, on and ready to use. Use it. Breaker 1-9, Breaker Breaker, <laughs> Breaker 1-9, Breaker Breaker. Use it. Breaker one nine, breaker, breaker. Oh, she's talking into it? Yeah. Daisy, Daisy, <laughs> give me your answer do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. <laughs> what the <laughs> This lady's psychotic. This lady's nuts. Enough screwing around. Enough screwing Enough around. Enough screwing around. I've right. got a case to solve. It doesn't have anybody. Can you use the police thing? Incoming calls only. Okay, let's go to this and let's let's talk to this thing and get the heck out of here. Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania? Yeah, no, there was a Phillipsburg in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Describe your primary control <laughs> delete. So what are we supposed to do now? Mm. 
job of the detective made you for a law enforcement personnel was done. And if they were guilty, then they wouldn't have been arrested. And the arrest of our three thousand trademark is invaluable. If the trial fails, you have at least paid the public and the music for it, Bob. That's weird. <clears throat> I thought that it might tell us like yeah, where the pillow factor or whatever um. the heck it was. <laughs> Chuck Headland? Maybe we can look at um Okay, let's do control. Look at the yeah. Right, this has fingerprints, fingerprints for everyone in the Dimbleweed <coughs> Park. Certified <coughs> fingerprint doesn't, doesn't work in that. that. Isn't he carrying different stuff? He is. Let's look at what he has. He ha No, he only has like... Mm. We pretty much gave him all the trash. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's our trash collector. <clears throat> Can you eat the donuts? Time to bake the donuts. <laughs> um, I guess we have to head out of here now. <coughs> I mean, what else, what else is there to do? Right? We can I don't think there's anything in here. We need a nice speck of dust. We can use the speck that of dust. That doesn't seem to work. Um, Are we supposed to talk to anybody else? I don't think so. Find the murder, fingerprint the murder one. We don't have anything with prints on it. No, we don't. Or, uh, could we, even that picture we can't do anything with, right? No. No. Um, I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. We can't do anything. <clears throat> yeah, we can't do anything. We don't have fingerprint powder or fingerprint tape either. I guess we need to go outside. Where the heck, where the heck can we find fingerprint tape? I would think it would be in the sheriff's office, but he didn't have any. Did you check the desk? Yeah. Oh god. You know what that is? They're probably some kind of radio thing. No, no time, time to talk. talk. We, we have, have to, to fix, fix this. Slight leak. Slight leak. Slight leak. I think they were on the radio. Can, Can I do anything, anything to help? Well, well the hydrotron tube is obviously burned out. out. We, we could, could use, use a new one. one. I think the plumbing... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're out of that side. side. We must have been taken off. I think the Plumbing Brothers is a front. So maybe that's a radio antenna. Yeah, it's a is radio antenna. That's a radio antenna. It's of a front for a radio for like a thing, conspiracy thing, and that yeah, seem to work. that's what that's what that truck is. I'm telling you. Don't touch our wrench trees <clears> out. <throat> Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Maybe we should stop here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should probably stop here before we go on. All right, well, we are going to... All right, ladies and gents, we are going to save our game. And uh, we're just going to leave it there. Because we're not entirely <laughs> sure what the heck is going on in this game. Pigeon Brothers freak me out. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally I think I'm totally gonna dream of a giant pigeon attacking me tonight. They're a front. They're a front. It's a radio for... it's like a radio <clears throat> broadcasting system in their truck. And you think that I don't wanna get into more <laughs> into any more speculation. Yeah, that's All that's right. it. Cut. Alright, that's All it. Right.
All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like this video. Come back to Geek Cheese for more. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.